Hi guys and welcome back to more in Bruges on the Force 90 YouTube channel continuing the circular Bruges save on FM 2015 today and today's the biggest game of the series so far when in the pro league of course and now we're in the same league as our city rivals today is the very first derby of the series circular Bruges versus club Bruges second against first as well both teams with a very good start club Bruges are unbeaten so far uh, out of nine games, they have won six and they have drawn three. We've suffered defeat twice, and it's been pretty rubbish, actually, past few games. Started off really well with three wins in the first three games, but since then, it's kind of gone uh, gone a bit pear-shaped. But we're still doing very well, so uh, I mean, considering we're a team that's just been promoted. So we'll have a look at the games off-screen. Last time, we did a double live com. We lost at home against uh, Mechelen, and we had nil-nil draw against Charleroi. Um, we actually have been doing okay, I'd say. Um, we're going to draw at home against A.A. Ghent, who are in real life for the Belgian champions. In fact, I don't think I've actually looked at... I think I did look at who won the Pro League, actually. I think it was Anderlecht and Club Bruges also got into it. Europe. So, home game against A.A. Ghent. Um, probably didn't deserve anything from this. We didn't do very well, but we got a late penalty to snatch a draw. Uh, Bruno Gomez put Ghent ahead in just the sixth minute, and I thought it was going to be another defeat. But um, fortunately, we won a penalty in the last minute of uh, regular time. And Captain Cornelis converted it. And uh, it ended 1-1. Well, I, yeah, I don't think... We we, we were definitely the worst team of the two on the day. Again, though, weren't great themselves. I mean, out of 11 shots, they only had three on target. But I think possession-wise, they dominated. So I think we were lucky to actually get anything from that. Uh, next game, we did actually record a win, though, against St. Truiden, uh, who were... Uh, uh, promoted this past season in real life and uh, of course they're now playing the pro league uh, this was 3-1 this finished uh, Wilson put us ahead in th after 32 minutes and then there was an equaliser just before half time by Hendricks for the home team uh, coming out in the second half Wilson added a second um, for himself in the 49th minute and a junior Tanaka scored in the 87th minute 3 minutes from time uh, to make it 3-1. Much better performance. I mean, it was a pretty even game, but I think, you know, we were much more in this game. Um, good defensive performances. Borden didn't do very well. And we took him off. And uh, the second half was good. And uh, we got a couple more goals. So that was good. Good stuff. Uh, then we had a 1-0 win away against Kortrijk. Uh, against 10 men. For, well, for not very long. Actually, only 6 minutes. Plus injury time. Uh, just the one goal in here, it was that Christoph De Heyne scored the goal. It's good to see him getting back to a scoring form. He hadn't scored in a while. Scored the goal here to make it a uh, 1-0. And then uh, Lazar Rosic got sent off for uh, two yellow cards in the 84th minute. Um, so, yeah, this was okay. Um, had a fair few shots. We got the edge in possession. So, yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, then we had a cup match. This was the uh, Belgian Cup sixth round. Uh, we had a draw away against Mon. And you can actually pay to have the uh, match played at home. Um, you can pay them to uh, change the fixture and move it so that you get the home advantage. And that way as well, because it's a bigger stadium, you get more ticket sales. So that's all right there. But I think you could pay like 18 grand or something and you get more ticket sales. We didn't do it. We decided just to do an away game. And Christoph De Heyne scored the only goal here in the first half injury time. That was the only goal there was. Uh, Junior Tanaka suffered an injury early on in the game, what well, in the first half. Uh, we had to take him off, and I think he's still out. No, he's not. Okay, he's back. Um, I don't know how. I think. I think actually we're doing okay. I think. I don't think we have a lot of injuries now. I think we have almost a clean bill of health. We'll have a look in a minute. Uh, then we faced Anderlecht at home. And this was the worst performance of the series so far. 3 1 defeat. At home, and the first half was just awful. I mean, Emmanuel Clotty scores in the sixth minute, uh, and then just before, well, 19 minutes in, Bernardo Silva with a direct free kick, uh, and then he scored the second actually to make it 3 0 before half time. And, and team talk was just come on, this that was absolutely awful. You're letting yourselves down, get out there and do something. We made two subs at half time. Wilson uh, had a dreadful game uh, right wing. Took him off and we brought on Chiki Nando. And we also uh, brought off uh, Belaid, who has, have, again, having a dreadful game. And brought on Wills. Uh, we did actually get a goal back. Last, uh, well, I say that, but it was actually an own goal. And, um, you know, we didn't even have. 
I don't think we even had like an involvement in the play. I think it was literally a pass back to the keeper and it didn't actually go to the keeper. We'll have a look at the goal actually. So here we go. So De Hena from the corner. There we go. There wasn't even a player going for the header and it came just, it just bounced off Kaminsky and in from from a corner. So we didn't even go for a header or anything. It was literally the keeper tried to catch it and all he could do was split it into his own net. So I don't think we even deserved a goal in that. It should have been 3-0 really. It was an awful, awful performance and there are going to be changes made in this club in this club Bruges match. So let's go straight into it. Um We'll have a look at injuries in a minute. Transfers. We did secure the signing of goalkeeper Buric. And he might play today, actually. Martinez overall has been good, but his most recent game was just so poor. Like, he made... Uh, Bruges' second goal, I think, Martinez made a really dreadful decision to come out. Um, and then there was another one where he went for a ball. He punt, went for a punch, and it was a feeble punch. Uh, and, we, yeah, we got a Buric in. He's not, it didn't cost a lot. And looking at his report, it's not bad. He's about the same level as Martinez. So there's definitely competition there. And I think we're going to play Buric today, actually. Uh, only other things that have happened is uh, a couple of loans. Janssen and De Whale went on loan. Carol Van Roos has been offloaded. He's, he's gone to uh, Maritimo on a free transfer. So just trying to cut the wage bill a bit. We do still have a bit of money left, um, but deadline day has now passed. Uh, there should be a guy in the shortlist, actually, which we went for. Um, this guy, Josip Korik, a uh, central midfielder. Something we don't have a lot of, but then something we don't really need to use. But uh, we've got, we tried to get this guy, and unfortunately, we ran out of time because um, we had to delay it because of low transfer budgets. Because we had, we, we changed the budget to fix something else, and then we couldn't change it back for some reason. We tried to go for this guy. We might do try again in January. Um, I don't think we can get him on the loan, can we? I think it's just a. I think there's just a free transfer window until the end. So we can't do that. Uh, another guy we looked at was uh, Anto Antonio Milic, uh, centre-back. Um, got decent potential and he wouldn't have cost a lot. So uh, that's a guy that we could look at. But I think they wanted a bit more than that, 575. I think they wanted over a million, which we didn't have. Uh, Martin Lanig um, was another central midfielder we were looking at. A bit on the old side, though. But he, he still looks quite good. So uh, I think we need a central midfielder. And when the, the next transfer window comes around but we won't need a lot more than that so uh, let's go into uh, team selection and we'll have a look at this team I think um, yeah Haroon has been awful I think we'll, we'll, we'll stick with this formation because I think it is the best formation we're going to do a quick pick but we are going to change it around a bit we're going to have Burick in goal uh, we're going to keep Boyce at uh, left back we're going to change the right back though we're going to are we going to no I think we'll leave that I think, right, so centre-backs is something we definitely need to look at. We're going to try Dussain. I don't think we've really given him any game time today. We're also going to drop Board in and play Wills. Um, we'll leave those two defensive midfielders as they are. Um, we'll have Tanaka as a shadow striker with De Heyna and Wilson either side. And then, again, striker is something we're, we're struggling with. Viola scored in the first game, but since then he has really dropped off. Uh, Zuku Tapazi also not playing very well. Um, we're actually going to start Valka today. We haven't done that yet. We're going to see what Valka can offer. And then the bench. Um, we'll have Paselic Gurgic on the bench. Um, we'll have Faroon on the bench. Um, Gevlik. Actually, no, we're not going to have Haroon on the bench, decided. I think we'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, we'll try that. Someone needs to give a, get a squad number. That would be Burek then. There we go. Okay, let's go. Uh, I like this club, Bruges Iad, and I believe they should secure a win against Circle Rouge. So one of the goals of this series is uh, to do the double over Club Rouge. Uh, so the main goal, of course, is to just try and is to uh, well, yeah, win the Belgian Pro League is one of the goals, and then see what happens after that. You know, try and maybe move on to Europe and things like that. But one of the goals that I do definitely want to do is try and maintain a bit of dominance over Club Rouge. So I want to do the double over them in a season, 
and then you know just try and finish above them as often as we can. I mean, the first season, the first season in the Pro League, you know, that's probably not going to happen. Not going to happen. But um, we'll see. Um, we've got the ball here. First highlight of the game, really. Sam Valka did to Hayner. Tanaka's through, but he's uh, been dispossessed by Simons or Simon. The pass is to Castillo, and now it's uh, Club Rouge who break. No way to send passes. Uh, it was a poor pass, really. The header is not read by anyone. It was more of just a cleared header, really. And the shot by Giddos goes over. First highlight of the match there. It was a fairly long one, actually. Um, fairly even so far. I mean, we've uh, had more of the ball, but um, hasn't been a great deal of action so far. We've got our highlight here, though. About half an hour played. Junior Tanaka moving forward. He's a dispossessed. Do same passes to Captain Cornelis. We need to change that name. Because, I mean, it sounds so much like Captain Corelli. I think we need to change that. Wilson's through. Surely there must be a goal out of this. Oh, what have you done? Did you see Valka? Did you see how much space Valka was in there? That was a selfish shot. But we've got a corner here, though. Can we get something from this? It's headed away. Valka chases after it. Passes to Dehaner. Wilson's there. Wilson scores. 36th minute. We've got the first goal of the game. Excellent. And the first effort by him early in the earlier highlight was a bit um, a bit selfish. I think he should have played that into the uh, six-yard box for Valka. I think he had a better shot at that, but he went for it himself. But uh, he's got a goal there, so we will give him the benefit of the doubt. Dehaner, I don't know what that guy was doing with his arms there, but Dehaner passed it to Wilson. First time shot, and he puts it in. So it's good to see the two wing players linking up there into half time and we've got a lead um give the fans a performance to cheer for that's a good team talk i think that's the most green missing for a while actually so let's see if we can hold on to this i'm going to keep it on control structured club bruce haven't had a shot on target yet and nothing from the first highlight Bruges have been pretty awful themselves actually so uh, as it stands they were four points ahead of us so we'll win here would mean the gap is close to a point. Um, I don't need to change anything. We're doing very well here. I'm surprised, actually. I thought this would be really hard. I'm going to make a change. Uh, Dehaner's not looking too hot. We're going to bring on Kabanga in this place. Hasn't had a lot of game time this season so far. Let's see if he can uh, offer something here. 73 minutes played now. And Defoe with the uh, throw in. De Suta, who's carrying a knock for Club Bruges, finds Meunier. And, uh, oh, good save. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Good save initially by Boric, but uh, the rebound. Did, I wasn't sure if it crossed the line, actually. Let me just slow it down a bit. Um... I don't know. So he spilled the ball. It was a poor one, really. Okay, yeah, right. I think... Uh, judge that for yourselves. I think it did go over, but um, I'm not sure. Right. It's 1-1. One, 1-1's one. One, one's okay, though. We're going to make those other two changes now. Um, we're going to bring on Baselic Gergic for Tanaka, who's not long come back from injury. Uh, and we're also going to put... Uh, Suki Tapazu up front. Just try and keep it fresh up front. See if we can, you know, get a late winner. I mean, we're doing okay. I think a draw is okay. It's not that bad against our rivals. It's a good, it's a good starting block. I'd say it's a good benchmark for next time. We do have a chance here though. Late on in the game, a second minute of injury time. Van Acker to Wilson. He's dispossessed. Wills wins the ball back. Cornelis to Wilson. And Da's there. Wilson. Pesalit Gergic, Sukita Pazu, goal! Oh, yes! Yeah! <laughs> 92nd minute, and Circle of Rouge. Wow, that's excellent. Against the against Club Rouge, Pesalit Gergic, that's a great pass, and Sukita Pazu, I wasn't sure if uh, Kabang was going to run onto it, but Sukita Pazu's there, and that was just easy peasy, lemon squeezy, John Travolta on his knees. He has more than one knee. Right, we are going contain for the rest of the game. Do uh, uh, boys to clear it, thank you. Oh, that was 
do you know i was changing that to, to uh, contain there and that was happening i was like oh god right 30 seconds left corner let's take your time over the throw and he passes here we go india just hold on to the ball now 20 seconds or well, 15 Baselic Gurgits to Sakuta Pazu. Baselic Gurgits to Wilson. Still going. Gados. That's it, surely. Final whistle. We've beaten Club Bruce. The very first derby has ended in victory. Wow. Uh, passionate. Very proud of your performance out there. That was amazing. Do you know, after the few games we've had, like that defeat against Anderlecht and the, the, the home defeats... I was not expecting that. I thought we were going to get spanked today. But that is a, that was fantastic. De Haina, I said that he hadn't scored in a while. He set a goal up today. He scored in uh, the cup game and the game before that. He's picked up his game at the perfect time. That's excellent. I've got a big smile on my face. I'm so happy with that. Buric made his debut. He did okay, actually. To be fair to him, I mean, he spilled the he spilled the shot for the uh, for their um, what was it? Their second goal, wasn't it? What did it actually did it actually finish? <laughs> Two one. Spilled the shot for their equaliser. I'm losing it. Spilled the shot for their equaliser, and then the rebound was there. He got a hand to it, but um, I think it did cross the line. But I think you know you saw it, so judge it for yourselves. That's excellent. You know, getting one over over the rivals is great. The first derby belongs to us. Well, then take the confidence from this into the next game. Beating your bitter rivals must make this a pleasing victory. You can see what these games mean to the fans. So you could suppose this dramatic late goal was something for you to say there. How do you rate that moment? That's what football is all about. It was a joy to behold. I'm beaming. This is so good. Um... Okay, yeah, I, I I got I offloaded a bunch of youngsters, ones that were never ever gonna amount to, amount to anything at the club. I've done all that. Uh, right. So where do we go from here? Um, we've got a cup draw coming up actually. I'm gonna do that because again I've, I haven't been recording for very long. So uh, I think last time though, I think the reason last time was that there weren't a lot of highlights. That was a pretty good game actually, like in terms of highlights and action. I think that was good. The previous game, I think, did not last very long in the previous live comms. But um, we're going to go to those cup games. And we're going to see uh, who we draw in the seventh round, which is the last 16. So we'll see what we do there. And we've also broken an attendance record. 29,000 attended the game. New record for the club. That's good. Uh, how, how, what is our stadium, actually? How much... How much um, what is the capacity of our stadium? Facilities. 29,042 all-seater. So that we sold out. So we had, we had a full stadium. So that's something we need to look at once we actually get some money because we don't have any. We need to look at either expanding or building a new stadium because, of course, we just sold out. A I know it's a derby, but we just sold out. That's great. Our next game is against Lamel, who came up with us from the uh, from the second league. They were the guys that won the playoffs. So uh, the two promoted teams going at it in the next live com, uh, in the next game rather, it won't be a live com. Um, we'll have a look at what we've got coming up in a minute. All right, here we go. The Belgian Cup seventh round draw. So there's 16 teams in this. Uh, so of course some big names here. Genk have already been knocked out. Um, who were the other big team that were knocked out? Club Bruges also got knocked out, yeah. So two big teams have already gone. Um, there's some... I think there's a mostly first league and second league teams. Let's have a look. Who are we going to get? We've got Rose Lair. That's a favourable tie, I think. Uh, they're all pro league or second league teams. Um, so we avoided the we avoided the bigger teams. And we've got a um, second league opposition. We're against Rose Lair. So uh, we'll see what happens there. And then, who do we get after that? And then if we go through that, then we face either 2Bs or A again, who knocked us out of the cup last season at the uh, at the sixth round stage. So that would be good if we could get through that and then go on and face again and try and get some retribution there. So, uh, that's yeah, that's all right. 
We, yeah, so we we, we uh, didn't lose in the, the two meetings we had with them last season. So that should be okay. I think um that should be a a comfortable tie, I think. So looking at what is uh, coming up, um, RMP are the guys we faced right at the start. So uh, we won't be facing them again. There's only 30 games to play, of course. So once we get to Vosl and Beveren, um, that'll be every team faced, and that will take us to November. I don't know if they have a winter break. I'm assuming they do, because getting to there, we're already halfway in the end of November. So uh, I think that Standard would be a good game, because, you know, they're close to us. So I think we, we'll do either Standard or Vosl and Beveren, or both. If we've got time to do a double live call, we could do that. Um, and the video will be a bit longer, maybe. But... Um, Again, the videos are do seem to be a bit shorter. We're at about 21, 22 minutes at the moment. So, yeah. Um, so, next time, it'll be Standard and or Vasland Beveren. So, uh, look forward to that. And um, that's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm very, very pleased with um, the win over our rivals, Club Bruges. 2-1 victory. Late goal. Second minute of injury time. So, uh, that was a good, good episode, I think. I'm happy with that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then leave a like. And if you want to make any comments, then uh, drop them in the comment section. Or leave me a tweet. Or, uh, well, I would say Facebook. But I don't have I have a personal Facebook, which has uh, nothing to do with the channel. But, um, yeah, you know, um, you know leave, leave any comments here. Or leave any Twitter comments. And if you want to see some more, if you want to see my videos as they turn up in the news feed, then hit the, hit the subscribe button. We're very close to 50 subs, actually. So I'd like to get to that mi milestone uh, soon, really. I think we're at 47 at the moment, so uh, that's good. Thank you to people that have already subscribed. You know, it means a lot um, to know that people do watch the content that I put out um, every week. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, hopefully we get to 50 um, in the near future. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.